Hi, it has been a while and I am ready to get back to work. Let me see if my volume is coming through. Well, give me just a minute. And I could sure use some lotion. My hands are so dry all of a sudden. Okay. Sounds like I have, I have volume. All right, so um, it's been a while, and I was really hoping to start getting back into it. I know that um, I think we stopped in 2020 um, after we did the Jelly Roll Fun, and I went back and looked at some of the videos, lots and lots of videos, and I hope you guys had a blast doing that. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, please feel free to go into my YouTube videos or even on my Facebook page and look and see what we did uh, during the pandemic. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We tried a bunch of different blocks. In fact, we did about 20 different blocks or maybe 21 anyways, and incorporated them all into um, some beautiful quilts. And I got two that are at least posted on the Suncoast Quilt Expo 2022. Um, you should be able to see them there. And uh, some of them are posted on the uh, Facebook page and um, I believe Manatee Patchworkers, their uh, public page. So feel free to kind of just breeze through there and see what you can find. But the Suncoast Quilt Expo 2022 is probably your best bet for seeing some of the quilts that we did. Um, uh, and of course it was just lots and lots of people participated. We had a great time. But then after that, um, I was going to start the next one and just never quite got to it. But I do have it prepared and we are going to start it soon. Um, I'll be taking uh, orders for that for kits and patterns and things like that. So be prepared. I will get that loaded up very soon. Right now what we're talking about is piecing, chain piecing. I know we just did a um, mystery retreat and some of the things I heard people say was, I don't like the chain piece. I don't like the chain piece. I don't like to chain. I don't like to, and I know that it can be a little scary and uh, sometimes a little bit difficult to um, make sure you're getting everything straight. But I wanted to make sure that we have an opportunity to just play a little bit and show you how easy chain piecing is and some of the simple tools that you can find around your house or at your favorite quilt shop or even like here, I actually have some for sale. I don't have the, the particular ones I have, I don't have them with me right now, but I have some other ones and I can't wait to show them to you. So let's get started. Oh, um, just, I'm going to show you this a couple times. Right now we are starting the next Mysterious Sewing Society. Um, this is the, well, hello. Um, so this is the, uh, the page where you can go on Facebook and see some of the pictures of the stuff that we've done at the previous um, uh, Sewing Society. It was our first ever. And we had a blast. It was me and another uh, quilting friend. And uh, so we had a blast doing it. We had about 32 people. It was a lot of fun. And I just want to open this up to more people. It is scheduled out about six months from now. And again, you're going to get some more information about this because I'm going to come back on later and we'll talk about it some more. So take an opportunity to go into the Facebook page for the, the Mysterious Sewing Society and just take a look and see some of the stuff we did. It will be open to... Um, everybody wants to join us if you're you know not in the area and you're going to be flying in because it will be a holiday weekend that we're actually going to do it so um, if you are going to be flying in or you're going to be visiting somebody you can take that Saturday that you're here that is actually September 3rd um, and come and visit us we have sewing we can have a sewing machine for you so if you sign up and decide you'd like to do the whole day thing again I'll tell you a lot more about this later um, but if you'd like to go ahead and reserve your spot or let somebody know that you would like to have a spot held for you um, for a short time, uh, you can go to the www.quiltersquarters.com, click on classes, and then join the Mysterious Retreat number two. You want the Mysterious Retreat number two, and it's under classes. So click on that, go in there, go ahead and get it paid for um, so that you know you're coming. And so we can spend a wonderful day with you. It's going to be on a Saturday and it'll be from like 830 in the morning until about eight o'clock at night. We have to be out of the room by 830, but we will have plenty of tables ready for you. Lots of fun. We had so many door prizes last time, just so many door prizes. And we had two pop up shops so you could come in and shop. Um, so all day on your own project or we'll have another mystery um, quilt for you to do that day. 
and the object is to have it completed by the end of the day. Um, this last one was a little more intricate than expected, um, so we were only able to fill the, finish about three or four blocks uh, by the end of the day, but it was so beautiful, so make sure you look on the page to see what kind of uh, quilts they're working on, okay, because just some of the fabrics that were chosen were just so beautiful. Okay, now let me get us, hello, hello, who do I have on? Anybody on here? Comments, comments. Um, who do I have on? It says I have three people. I would sure love to be able to see everybody. Let me, um, let me click over to, uh, let me see where I'm at. Let's do the tabletop. Okay. So I'm still working on this because it's a work in progress. And um, so here's what I've got. Well, hey. Hey, Miss Sharon. It is so good to hear from you. Um, so here's something that I'm working on. And I'm going to tell you I'm still working on, still working on my points. Um, as long as I've been doing it, I still keep working on my points. Um, so this is a quilt I'm working on right now, and it has lots of um, pinwheels in it. So here's my pinwheels, and here's what I'm doing. And I had a whole slew of them. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pinwheels. And this is just what's left that I still have to do. So we're going to come over to my table here in just a second, and I'm going to show you a little bit of... Um, uh, a little bit of how to chain and then we're going to um, clip them apart and then we're going to and I'm going to show you how to open up those um, those pinwheels as well so let me take us here's my little mouse let me take us over to the throat cam and again I'm still working on this trying to get this just right so hopefully you're going to really enjoy this because my hey Miss Kathy so good to see you on here. I apologize for how late it is. I am hoping that nobody minds that it is like 11 o'clock at night because I'm usually a late person. Um, and so I am on late tonight. It, took, it probably took me two hours, maybe even longer than that, to get this streaming up and running. And I was so frustrated with Facebook. And you know what it was? It was user error. I just didn't know what the heck I was doing. Okay, so let me come over here. Oh, look at those nails. They look terrible. Okay, so I've already got one in here that I'm working on. And before I go to the next little section, I usually check just to make sure I'm staying lined up here. And I'll tell you, I did this, um, I did these using triangulations. Let me see if I can find my, my sheet. Um, and chilly here. It is chilly. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? I cannot believe. I cannot believe how cold it has gotten in the last couple of days. Here, y'all, I am going to quick show you. This is, ooh, I'm going to move that up. This is the triangulations. This is what I used to do all these little bad boys. Um, I will tell you that I got the measurements wrong, so I actually had to go buy some extra fabric. Um, but these, this triangulations that I got from Brenda Henning. Yes, Brenda Henning. See, Brenda Henning. Um, that I got from Brenda Henning. Um, triangulations has been absolutely fabulous so let me just show you a little bit um, here's one of my pages so this one is for a three inch finished size so this when it's finished would be three inches um, and so I can do eight of these squares with just one little trip around on this piece of paper just putting face to face you know right sides to right sides we'll get on to that another day but right now I just wanted to show you what I was using. So let's get this off of here. And y'all, please feel free to talk to me. I feel like I'm over here in La La Land with um, just not sure what to do. So by the way, my little honey, my sweetie pie, bought me this wonderful sewing machine that has a nice big throat or a um, needle spot here. So you can see so much better with this brother. All right, so let me get my foot up here. Actually, now I have to take my shoe off because I moved my foot, the foot to my um, my sewing machine. Now, hopefully, and I would love for your input, hopefully the noise isn't really loud because I know one time we did it and it was really loud. 
Love the colors. Thank you. I actually got these colors at bits and pieces. Ooh, did it just kick me out? Oh, there I am. Okay. Whew. I thought it kicked me out. Okay. So I got these colors at bits and pieces, and when I ran out and realized that I did not have enough because I overmade my squares, my my uh, half square triangles, I had to go back today, and she was very gracious and let me buy some more of the fabric. And gratefully, it's one that she seems to keep on keep stock. So thank you, Miss Linda Bronchima, at bits and pieces for having the fabric I needed on hand. Now let me tell you something, this sewing machine goes really, really fast. In fact, I have to be careful not to push the foot too hard because I'm gonna show, it'll go. It'll go and it'll go without me. So I have to be careful, we'll only push the foot so far. Um, but I do love this foot um, with this line because it's like, it's, it's so nice. If you don't have this and are not able to follow along, I strongly recommend that you buy the foot that has the the um, the metal bar next to it. And gosh darn it, if I can, let me see if I can even find mine. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the foot that I would normally use. It has a little metal bar on it, and it keeps me from going outside my quarter of an inch. And this little thing has saved my hiney so many times I can't even tell you. So if you, you know, if you have a trouble with your um, seam allowances, make sure you're using one. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you, Miss Linda, for collecting the Ukraine quilts. That is, that is such a blessing. I, I have been so encouraged listening to some of the stories about people who are putting together quilts for Ukraine and... Um, all the things that they've gone through to try to get these quilts over there. And like, I was so just amazed. I'm going to start crying here in a minute. But the, um, the ladies who went to the um, train stations where these people are coming in from Ukraine, you know, with little or nothing and weaving. Um, oh, yep. I'm going to start crying. Uh, weaving these strollers and stuff. So they have some way to get their kids around. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This whole thing has been hard. Usually I can keep this under wraps, but uh, unfortunately right now, okay, I need a tissue. Usually I can keep very clear headed about it. When I start to talk about it, then I, then I get all mushy. Okay, let's see if I can straighten myself out here. Oh, thank you, Miss Sharon. I'm just, I'm squishy. I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm just, I'm a squishy person. Get me talking about stuff like that, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna fall apart. Okay, pull myself together here. Um, anyways, but, and it's one of the reasons I just, I am glad to help out any way I can. And oftentimes, you know, if I don't offer, someone will ask me, well, can you, you know, do you have time to throw a couple quilts in and quilt them? I'm like, yeah, of course. I'll make space, I'll make time. Um, so somebody did ask me about that. So if you happen to be listening and you were the person that was talking to me about, um, doing some Ukraine, Ukraine quilts, you know, just the baby quilts, please, you know, get back in touch with me because, you know, I will squeeze one or two in, in between each one of my projects or each one of my clients. I am happy to do it. You know, I, I love to give back because everybody's been so great to me. I want to make sure I do it for everybody else. And my ladies of my guild, if you happen to be listening, uh, don't forget that it's September 10th. We are going to be doing the um, the once a year auction that we did for the Gary Sinise Foundation. This year we're going to be doing it for St. Jude's. At least I'm pretty sure that's what I remember her saying. So make sure you have some quilts together that we can take and auction that day. It went over so well the last time. We had so many people who were so pleased and um just loved our quilts to pieces. Um, we even had a few that got fought over. So it was um, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that so much. And if anybody ever wants to come with me when I go to Georgia to do the um, to do the auction, please feel free. I mean, the last time we had um, a house, it was only a two bedroom, but we had a house and it was so nice. 
you know, listening to those ladies um, auction their jewelry, um, and then all the proceeds went to the Gary Sinise Foundation. I think we raised, I'm kind of kind of throw this out here because I just don't remember, but it was somewhere between 3,500 and 4,500 or something like that. It's just been, well, it's been about a year, so I don't actually remember exactly how much it was, but a good portion of that was raised through quilts, or at least half, I think, maybe at least half was raised from the um, auction of the quilts that we that we all donated. So I'm, I'm diligently working to make sure I have at least one or two ready um, for the auction. And I'd kind of like to make sure I have at least a, a queen size ready. So queen size or king size, or maybe even a couple of kids size twins or something like that. I'd love to see us be able to really, you know, make a difference and, and send St. Jude some some love. I know when I watch those commercials, that's another one that kind of gets to me is the um, the St. Jude's commercials when they talk about how no family has to pay. I mean, I think that's just wonderful. All right, so we're going to do this one and then we're going to stop and I'm going to show you all about that um, taking them apart. So let me... Do this right here and I'm going to switch back to my tabletop it is a brother 1500 SL um, a PQ 1500 SL I don't know what the PQ stands for maybe it's piece quilting who knows but Oh, I'm still drying my eyes over that last one, and I, I love it. it. It is strictly a straight stitch, but for a quilter, it's like perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so let me show you my chain and chain and chain. So this goes on for a ways, for quite a while, okay, as you can see. So I've got all these. So here's what I've got on my table. I have the quilting, the cutting gizmo. Um, this one is my personal one, and I love it because it's got a nice heavy base and it holds very still. The other one I have is this one, and this is one of the newer ones, and I do love it because it lets you use your old blades inside of this cute little plastic thingy. And so you just pop this in here straight up like that. And there's your blade. And then, let's see what we got here. Sounds quiet. Does it, does it sound quiet? Because it sure doesn't sound quiet to me sometimes, I, especially when the house is, is, um, is quiet and it's not. Okay, so here we just go on here and we just pop it down. And then I just keep on going. And this is my strip piecing. Now, if I had to do each one of these, hey, Justin. I don't know who Justin is. At least I didn't catch the whole name. So if we just go in here and, and there's like several different places. So if you feel like that spot's getting, um, getting dull, you can just change it over to the next spot. Okay. So I do have um, little cutty gizmos. I'm just using that as a general term. Um, Y'all, I have a bunch of these. But what I have found is if I will take a moment and pin all of these together, I probably need to rethread it, um, pin all of these together, then I can go back and chain piece every single one of them. Chain piece? Yeah. Chain piece every single one of them. Oh yeah, I'm happy to be back. You know, I, I don't know if I just got a little nervous about it or, or what was going on, but I just, I don't know. I was, I got away from it and um, I'm hoping to come back on. I'd like to try and pick like maybe Saturdays and Sundays or Sundays or Saturdays or something like that. But I'd like to pick up where we start again, maybe doing those log cabins we talked about. I've got the, uh, the designs already. I mean, I know you've seen the quilt. All right. And last one. And there you have it. 
all of those that I had pinned together and there was like, I mean, just imagine it, this whole stack was over there. And I pieced them all and they are ready to go. Now, here's another thing I found out. And this is all through trial and error, okay? But if you have these pinwheels like this, especially these pinwheels, flip them over, and instead of going one side or the other, or even opening them, turn them this way, so that you actually see another pinwheel right here on the back. See that little pinwheel? And then iron down both sides. Iron one one way and one the other way. And it's only gonna go one direction. So make sure you're going that direction. Now, where did my little, where did my little toolie go? What did I do with it? Oh, Y'all, I'm still as lost as ever. I just had that little tool in my hand, in my hot little hands, and now I have managed to put it away. Anyways, basically all it is is it's, um, it's a little Dollar Tree item I found. It's just a little roller. It's supposed to be for your face, but I have found it works great for seams. But now, all of a sudden, I can't figure out what to do with it. So, we will revert back to, wow, I can't even find that one. Oh, y'all, just shoot me now. Okay, so if all else fails, just use the back side of the, the little cutty thing. Anyway, so it, if you look, I know it's kind of hard to tell now, but if you look, the, the bulk is not nearly as bad as it normally is. See, look at that. And it even lays straight, and I haven't even ironed it. Ta-da! All right. So let's, let's go back to that one, and we're going to turn off that one and that one, and, and of course, leave on my wireless. So, y'all, I have to tell you, um, I was letting my hair go to its natural white, but I found out, sorry, still a little... A little bit of tears in there. Um, I found out that my hair is not actually all white. It is part gray, which is in the back, and part white. So I asked my husband, I said, listen, I gotta do something. So either I stick with it like this, or I go back to blonde. What do you, what would you like? And he said blonde. So <laughs> I decided to go back to blonde, and I told her, I said, you know, but keep my hair a little bit longer. I don't like my neck right now, so bless my, my very sweet hairdresser who helped me do that. All right, so once again, Bonnie Hunter calls that spinning the seams. Yes, that is a really great way of putting it, spinning the seams. I love it. And it helps to, like again, mitigate that bulk that winds up in there. Because I'm going to tell you, the first one I did where I flipped it over, you know, or even tried to open it to do the seams open, still made a huge amount of bulk in there. Um, so this way, what did you say, uh, spin, spinning the seams, it just really helps in moving some of that bulk all the way around. So now when your long armor, hello, um, gets a hold of that quilt, they're not going to sit there and cut you out because the needle keeps popping the thread trying to go through all that fabric. Okay, again, Facebook page, Mysterious Sewing Society. Um, check it out. It'll give you an opportunity to see what the Mysterious Sewing Society is all about. Just a bunch of ladies or gentlemen getting together and doing something fun. Okay, from like 8.30 in the morning till about 8 o'clock at night, only $55 for the whole day. Comes with a treat bag, it comes with the opportunity to get some door prizes. So please feel free to join us on September 3rd. Again, from 8.30 in the morning till 8 o'clock at night. Um, go to www.quiltersquarters.com or quiltersquarters.com. I think it'll get you there either way. And you're going to go underneath classes and then go to Mysterious Retreat number two. We are on number two. We did. We just had so much fun the last time. We decided that we were going to do it six months, but it's going to take us about six months to get back with some of our people to see if um, we can get some more door prizes, some more wonderful door prizes. So, And this year is my turn, and I am going to see what kind of fun things I can get from some of our local businesses and see if we can have a wonderful time. All right, is the, are there any questions? Anybody have any questions tonight? Like, what are you guys doing? What's going on? What are you doing up at 11 o'clock at night? Here I thought it was just me. Um, and yes, I am just kind of trying out the video because it has been so long since I've done it that I was I couldn't even find all of my webcams. You know, here it was I worked so hard to have three webcams 
and then ta-da, I couldn't find hardly any of them. And then I had to kind of move them around because this one required a tripod and this one could be taped down, but this one had to be here. And it was like, ah, oh, it was a mess. Absolutely a mess. But after spending about three hours hooking them all back up, trying to figure out why they weren't working on my program, this is what I came up with. Oh, okay. So I will, I don't have, like I said, I do not have this one. Uh, great job. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't have this one in stock and I don't have this one in stock, but what I do have are those little needle threaders, the green ones, where you can thread your needle, you know, just set it down and thread it. Well, on those needle threaders, there's also a little um, blade as well. And so you can use the blade to do the cutting just like we did. And I'm, I, I know people are like, oh, well, you know, it's not that big a difference. No, it is. It really is. If you pin all your pieces together, take your time, pin them nicely. But if you pin them all together and then chain piece them, you will find that you will spend a lot less time doing the work, especially if you're trying to pin it or especially if you're trying to put it together and then put it through and then put it together and put it through. Don't do that. Just stop, pin everything very neatly, stack it up and then do the chains. Just do one right after the other and take your time, you know, spend the time doing it. And um, y'all, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, it's been a pleasure and I hope I get to see everybody at the next retreat. I know we've already had some sign up. We have a couple on the wait list too. Um, so please feel free to wait list it or to just go ahead and get your spot reserved. It is a holiday, which I'm hoping that that means we're going to have some new friends come in from maybe out of town because they're visiting and they would just love to spend one whole day doing nothing but goofing off with us. So, and if you know of anybody that's going to be here that would probably like to join us, please invite them along, you know, tell them to come on. It's $55 for the day. If they need a sewing machine, we can get them a sewing machine there because I'm pretty sure we could get tops to sponsor us again for machines. I mean, last time we had like nine. We had nine people that wanted machines. That was almost a third of the whole room, almost, not quite. Um, so we would love to see you there and love to have your friends or your family come join you. Um, it's always nice to have somebody with you. We're gonna make sure the tables are bigger this time. Uh, last time the tables were just a little bit narrow, which was kind of a disappointment for us because they promised us they were big and they weren't. Let's see. Oh, Roberta. Oh my gosh. So good to hear from you. I haven't heard from you in so long. Um, but hey, once I get started back on the videos again, we're going to get to spend more time together, I hope. Um, so um, what you been up to, my friend? My friend Roberta. You been hanging? Hanging out at the house? getting some quilts done I hope I'm hoping to see some of your stuff make sure you post some pictures of your stuff on here on the SRQ site um, and yes it's SRQ is me so I got the Etsy site SRQ quilters dot store that's my Etsy site but there's not much on there right now because I haven't really put anything on there and of course there's my Facebook which is SRQ quilters and then there's my YouTube which is also SRQ quilters so please feel free to go in and check it out um, We'll, we're going to start having some more videos. What we were doing today, Roberta, just to kind of give you a quick rundown, is I was demonstrating on how to do um, chain piecing. Chain piecing. Yes. I don't know. For some reason, that doesn't sound right. Anyways, um, chain piecing your stuff. So instead of, you know, putting it together and putting it under the machine, you know, and then do the next one, then do the next one. This one, you just pin everything and then run it one right after the other. It's chain piece and then you take one of these cute little items here and you just cut them apart. So that's basically what this video was about that and telling you about the mysterious sewing society. And um, we are going to have another mystery for this one. <laughs> How was my wahaha? Was it good? Just let me know. Uh, anyway, so we're going to have a bunch of fun and we want to make sure everybody gets to join us. I am new to quilting. Is there a standard recommend? Absolutely. For quilting, the standard uh, seam allowance is, a, uh, <laughs> I was going to say half an inch, sorry, it was a quarter of an inch. Um, so most of them only use a quarter of an inch. And let me see, I just had my foot. Uh, Ta-da! Um, I'm going to change over real quick to the table cam and turn me off. There we go. This is, this is a standard um, one quarter inch foot that is normally used. Um, this one is great because you see this little metal piece right here as you're stitching down the side, it's giving you a guide to run that foot, that material underneath. 
so that you're keeping a steady, very steady, very even quarter of an inch. Okay, and I found out for me, that was my biggest problem was my seam allowance because if your seam allowance is off even by an eighth of an inch, but you have five blocks across, even your eighth of an inch, then you're gonna wind up having a big discrepancy in the sizes. If it's, I want to say that if it's a um, kind of an across the board kind of thing, then your whole thing will be. But it's much better for you to find a foot like this. And I do have them. And if you like, I can put them on the Facebook um, site where you can go in and shop from my Facebook. I've got some of these and I also have the cutters. Um, well, you're welcome, Miss Roberta. Uh, thank you so much for coming on tonight. I know that um, it's kind of weird. I, I'm, I'm on so late. Um, again, I was just kind of lost on trying to get everything up and running. It's been so long since I've done this. So anyways, but yes, quarter inch is the seam allowance for quilting. But that doesn't mean that you can't use a larger seam allowance if you like. It's just you need to remember to make sure that you're using the seam allowance that particular seam allowance all the way around. So if it tells you that you need to have a six inch finished block, then if you're gonna use a half an inch, then you're gonna to need to make sure you've got a whole inch extra. It's, it's a lot. My recommendation, just go with the quarter inch and follow the um, instructions. It's always easier that way. All right, let me get back to here and here, there. Okay, now, handy dandy little foot, love these things. I used to sell them by the gobs. People love those things. Okay. Now, do we have any more questions? Anything else I can answer for you tonight? I am more than happy to stay on and keep chit-chatting with you if you like. Again, check it out, Mysterious Sewing Society page. Um, we have a mystery retreat coming up again in September, September 3rd. And it's going to be a blast. It's going to be all day long, and it's only $55. And I think the... I think there is a website I put up on here, a link for you to be able to follow. So just click on classes and then you'll find mystery retreat number two and make sure you join us because we would love to have you on that wonderful holidays. I think it's Labor Day holiday in September, right? Right. All right. So y'all, thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, I would love to spend more time with you on here. If you have any questions, you know, go ahead and ask it. I will stay on as long as you want to play around. I'm always willing to play. Always willing to have fun. And uh, like I said, I'm going to try and maybe do Saturday and Sunday or Saturday or Sunday or I don't know. We'll play it by ear and see how it goes. But I hope to do a lot more of these and have some more time with you guys and kind of build up a, a little bit. I don't want to say build up a following, but just kind of build up a community of friends, quilters, um, you know, sometimes you can ask a question on here and somebody on the site, you know, that might just be watching might have a better answer or even have an answer that I may not have. So I'm always open to having people, you know, put their own input in as well, as long as it's friendly, you know, don't, don't get ugly with each other. That's not nice. So we want to be nice to each other. And that's what quilting is all about. It's about, you know, community. It's about sharing. It's about, you know, to me, a quilt is nothing more than a big warm hug. You know, and you can just wrap it around you and have as many hugs during the day as you need to if you've got a quilt. And uh, so that's one of the reasons why quilting is so important to me and in my life, because I know that I can make a quilt. It can go off to one of the places that we, you know, um, do for our charity work. And it's going to give a child or a family that needs a big hug a big hug. And they don't even know the face of the person who made it, but they know when they wrap that around them, they're going to feel loved and cared about because somebody cared enough to stitch together all this fabric to make it beautiful so that they could enjoy it and that's my thing that's what I love to do so if there's anything I can answer for you any questions I'm always happy to help you can message me anytime as well and I will be happy to message you back uh, if for some reason you don't hear from me right away it's probably just because I haven't seen it yet so please don't think I'm ignoring you all right well it looks like we don't have a whole lot of questions going on right now but again, if you want to chit chat or talk or whatever, please feel free to message me through my Facebook page. I'm happy to help, happy to answer any questions. Or maybe you just have a question about the Mysterious Sewing Society. Again, here's the website. 
and we would love to have you join us. Let's see, is it in, oh, God, you can barely see it. Yikes. All right, I'll tilt it down a little bit. There, that's a little better. Not quite so, oh, there we go. Lean a little bit. Okay, so quiltersquarters.com, click on classes, and then mysterious, mysterious retreat or mystery retreat number two. <laughs> I can't hardly read the whole thing. All right, y'all, thank you so much. And let me, before I leave, just let me do a quick prayer. I used to do this a lot and I, I really want to get back into it. So from me to you, Father, just thank you so much for a wonderful evening, for reaching back out to friends, to family, to my quilt family, to whoever uh, this message reaches, Father, I just ask you to bless them, touch them mightily, touch them in their body. If there's a need in their hearts and their body, Father, I just ask you to touch it and heal it and make it all better. And Father, I just, I pray for the people of Ukraine, Father, and the people of Russia, Father. This is, this is such a hard time. Father, I just ask you to bring peace peace to a world that's in turmoil. And I just thank you and I give you all honor and glory in Jesus' name, amen. Listen, y'all have a wonderful night. Love you and I hope to see you real soon, okay? Mwah.